There you go, on our fellas. Here we go. Might finish off the night with uh, Liberty Brewing Company. It looks good. The Elixir. The Bright Ale. A sessionable libation at 4.7%. Concocted by Ale. Alchemist. Oh, a bit hard to read that uh, funny writing colour. I like the colour though. It's a real translucent, tran translucent electric blue. I like it. Alright, I'll give this one a bit of a crack. Let do. Liberty. I guess where they are from. I think they're from America. Just off the I think I might have done one of these, maybe, I don't know. Alright. Auckland. No, oh, Spanner in the works. they got a big story there. And I'm not going to read it. But I'll tell you this. It's pretty interesting. It's got a weird flavour though. Bright ale. Is that really bright? Blindingly bright? I don't really think so. But the flavour is really interesting. Sort of not like beer, for some reason. It's like some... Sour. It's a little bit sour. Oh, I'm trying to think what it tastes like. It tastes like... An old cave or something. The smell of an old cave. I don't know. It's real weird. I should have read up. I should have read up before I bloody opened it. But um, I couldn't be bothered. I'll read about it later. Might even put a comment about it. But if you read up about it and then say what it tastes like, which I do quite a bit lately, I've been a bit, bit of a lazy sucker, but um, it sort of throws it. Yeah, but you still don't taste things they talk about, and you taste other things. So, yeah, we'll just play it by ear. Don't be too serious about it. It tastes like an elixir. Because it doesn't taste like really awesome, good taste in beer. That's all I can say. A weird smell as well. That's probably not helping things. But yeah, it's like an old 